It's the little small shifts in your life that will change your life. Learn as much about your life as you can, as much about your body, your health as you can. Like, that's the crazy thing that I see with people is like, we'll know everything about everything ex external. We'll know Cardi B broke up with Offset. We'll know all these other stuff, things that really don't matter about your life. That's not going to help your life. But we don't know our own selves. You know, we don't spend time researching our health, researching our body, knowing our body. You know, like we don't know ourselves, but we know everything about everybody else. And that's why I say I can never hate on another person because hating on, the, hating on another person means I'm not spending enough time on myself. And I think the more you spend time focusing on yourself in a positive way, as I like to call self-care, the more you're able to, to live life in a more intentional, a more purposeful, in a more meaningful way. So know your body, know yourself. Start off with accomplishment. Start off with accomplishment. Even the smallest thing, start off with accomplishment. It's everybody I know that's, you know, when I say high level, I, I don't mean money or I don't mean followers. I mean people who are truly like happy in life. You know, the father that you will never know about, the mother that you will never know about. They are truly happy in life. They start their day off with accomplishment. The smallest stuff, because that's momentum in your life. You accomplish something. You might say, Trent, that's a small thing. Uh, well, start your day off with, with gossip. Start your day off with toxic things. Start your day off with stress and see how your day goes. Like I said, small shifts create major changes in your life. It's just facts. I wish I could just come over and talk about food too. What you eat, you know. I'm big on intermittent fasting. Uh, it's changed my life in 2018. I'm gonna talk about it on Tuesday. You know, research it, look it up. But intermittent fasting is incredible. It's incredible. My energy, my clarity, my focus, and and, and you know what the, the the proof is? Like you guys see the proof. I've had so many messages. Like, something shifted in you. Some change. Like you've elevated. You know. And it's because I made some changes in my life. And I made one major change that, that was residual throughout my life. But intermittent fasting is something that I do every single day, pretty much. It might be one day where I don't do it, where I want to have breakfast with the family. But intermittent fasting, I love it. it gives me more energy than everything. Because so, um, just do your research. Don't listen to me. Do your research. Go, go with what works for you. But I'll tell you, man, there's a lot of stuff you need to unlearn about life. A lot of stuff you need to unlearn. You know, people will tell you breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You need to eat five meals a day. If you if you feel like that, great. If it's working for you, don't listen to me. But I would do some research. I would try other things. Fasting is incredible. Fasting is incredible. Of course, spiritual wise, it's incredible. But also what it does to you physically, what it help how it helps your sales is incredible. I've always been like that throughout my whole entire life. I like to try different things and see if it works for me. Some things didn't work, but I know that, I mean, I'm down, what, 40, like 40 pounds. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm back to my 4.3 speed, but I'm fast again. Uh, I'm super creative again. And it all came down to certain practices that I put in place. You know, I'll do a 48 hour fast. I did one last week. Um, I haven't worked up to a 72 yet um, as far as just water, but I'll do a, a five day juice fast. You know, uh, you think that you need food, but what you, really, what you really need is hydration and water. I've tried vegan. I went vegan. And when I went vegan, um, I like to say plant based because my reason for going vegan, just to be real with you, like what had nothing to do with like me, you know, uh, loving animal, I love animals, but I, it wasn't like an animal thing for me, right? Just to be totally transparent, which it was more of a health thing for me. So I like to say I was I was plant based, and the reason I did that was because my mother had cancer, and I wanted to, you know, fast from meat, I, and to help her because of course, you know, yeah, of course, meat isn't the best for you. Um, at least certain meats aren't the best for you. So even now, I eat meat lean meat in moderation. Um, I don't really eat red meat at all and nothing against anybody who does it. Like I said, go with what works for you. But when I was vegan for about, or plant-based for about eight months, it was incredible to be honest with you. But I realized that a lot of the meals that I, that I was eating that was vegan wasn't too good for me health-wise. Like it was a lot of soy, 
Uh, it was a lot of preservatives in it, even though it wasn't meat. And so I was like, man, this isn't healthy. So I had to go back to what worked for me on a long-term basis. And what I'm doing now works for me. I eat once a day, usually. Um, and I might have a juice for my breakfast. And my breakfast starts at about 12 o'clock and our smoothie. And then I eat an actual meal at about six o'clock. And then I'm usually done for the night. And that's what's worked for me. And my energy has been incredible. I do, I do high performance training every morning on no breakfast at all. Right. And you guys see me on Instagram live. I'm not lacking at all because it's pulling energy from the right place. It's pulling energy from my fat. So yeah, just research it, man. Just do your research. That's all I'm saying. Just do your research. Like I said, it doesn't work for everybody. It works for me and I can apply it to my life, but just do your research. And the point of me talking about all this, like I'm going into a whole health <laughs> thing that I don't even want to go into. But the point of me talking about all this is just to tell you to know yourself, like study, you know, um, try things, don't limit yourself, research certain things, know yourself, learn yourself, grow yourself, know yourself, all these things, because you only get one life, right? You only get one life. And you want to live the best life that you can live. And don't limit yourself. Like, there's so many people who preach victory, who pray victory, but then live in defeat, operate in defeat. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to say it doesn't matter what you say because there's power in the tongue. But there's also power in action and what you do with your life, right? So if you truly believe in what you're saying, your actions should follow through with it. Like, you can't have victorious thoughts if you're not having victorious action because you won't get a victorious result. Somebody said, I think it was, uh, I forgot who it was, but it said, you know, even if, you're, if, you're, if your head and your hands aren't on the same page, it's because you've left your heart out. And I really connected with that. And so uh, get deep inside your heart. Don't just stay up here, but make sure you come from here and make sure that you walk it out. Peace out, y'all.